I remember one day I came in and I turned a corner in the corridor and I like bumped into you like you were coming the other way and I literally had the most awkward reaction to seeing you. Yeah, I think I just coughed or something and said something really awkward like, oh, got a cough. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so I had double shame because obviously there was all the shame about being gay and then there was the shame that the person that I was most attracted to was my teacher. Like, there's a lot of shame that comes with that and we're never, like, obviously people get crushes on their teachers and we're never taught how to deal with it and it really fucking annoys me. But then you went and gave me your number. So I was thinking, okay, it's fine. I'm obviously going to stay in touch with Mrs. Anderson. And then I started uni and it was the biggest roller coaster of my entire life. And I needed you. You were the person that I wanted the most. You were the person that, that I wanted to help me through it. Um, but so many times you just didn't reply. Like you just didn't reply. And I was so confused because you were the one who gave me your number. You initiated keeping in touch and then you didn't want to keep in touch. Do you know how much that fucked with my head? I always worked so hard for you. I gave my entire soul to everything that you said and, and I valued myself based on the praise that I got from you. And as soon as I didn't have that, I just crumbled. Yeah, and I hadn't learned to appreciate myself and love myself. I was just so preoccupied with... <laughs> Every so often you still enter my head and I think, what if? What if we meet up again somewhere in the future and we have the most amazing love affair and you confess to me that you love me all along? Like, why can't I stop my head from, like, <laughs> like why? So yeah, you hurt me. I just wanted you to know that. 